Well, as I wanted to talk to you guys about, there's something that's been bothering me here specifically in Ella, something that I've come across the entire time I've been here and I feel like it should be talked about. And that is, well, the tourist. The tourist that I've been coming across, not all, for the most part, people are kind, welcoming, and you know, you treat people with respect because you're out of your country, you're in theirs, and that's how you conduct yourself. Like, you conduct yourself appropriately, right guys? Well, I've ran into a lot of situations here in Ella where I wanna say something, smack someone, and just let them know how I really feel, and that is the worst kind of feeling. But um, I've noticed that it's coming from basically one demographic, and so many other travelers that I'm talking to here in this area are having the same problem, and even the locals. Um, and that is with the Russian people that are here right now. Now, don't take this the wrong way. I have nothing against Russians. I have nothing against uh, Russian people at all. In fact, I've met plenty of really good ones and really educated ones this trip. Um, some that have even talked to me about the difficult situation that's going on right now that we all know about and how they very much disagree with what's going on and that's why they are here. However, the people that have talked to me and told me those situations have made it clear that not everyone feels the same way that is here right now. Um, there's plenty that are pro their government, right? Like everywhere in the world. But um, yeah, guys, I've been running into a situation where the, I've been sitting at restaurants, cafes, bars, and as you heard me say throughout this entire series, man, there are Russians absolutely everywhere. But here I have found, I don't know, this might be where the most entitled ones are. Um, the amount of people that I have seen disrespecting the local Sri Lankan people is absolutely insane. And it's wrong, and it needs to be talked about, and it needs to change. You don't leave your country to go into somebody else's country, somebody else's home, and treat them like shit. You don't do that. Those are the wrong ways to travel. It is. It makes the locals feel wrong. And quite frankly, if that's how you conduct yourself, you should stay your ass at home, okay? Um, yesterday, I was at a cafe and I'm sitting there and there's one Sri Lankan guy. They must not know how the economy works here. Um, a lot of the places you go to, there'll be one or two employees and they're doing absolutely everything, busting their ass. And come on, you know, they're not making much money, especially in, in, in relatively speaking from where we come from, right? not much at all and the customer service is quite frankly unmatched it's always quite good um but these two guys are busy and i got these russian guys sitting next to me and they're snapping trying to get this guy's attention uh poor kid walks up and he's like sorry sorry uh very busy and he's like very busy uh, and the russian guy like tells him like i'm not gonna try and do the russian english but you guys know what it sounds like and he's telling him like very busy there's only six people in here. It's a cafe. You guys should know how to make coffee fast. He's like, um, and this coffee tastes, tastes terrible. It's horrible. This isn't good coffee. And like starts fucking ripping the, the Sri Lankan guy like a new asshole for no reason, man. Excuse my language, but I'm, I'm pissed. I'm very, very pissed. And um, when I get mad, I get very upset. And um, yeah, basically starts going off on this guy and starts telling him, telling him, you know nothing about hospitality. And then the customer is always right. That's what the Russian guy's telling him. And I'm like, oh my God, dude. Like, and he's yelling. Then the Russian guy lights a cigarette inside the cafe. And I'm like, oh my God, dude. Like, seriously, like, and you know, there's a couple other Germans and Dutch people in there. And we're all just looking at these people like, what the fuck just happened, man? Like, these guys are crazy, dude. So one problem, right? Then, um, was it yesterday morning, I was at my hotel. I was paying for my extra night because I really enjoyed my stay there. And these guys, Russian guys come up, cut the whole line. They, they ignored the fact that there was like six of, us be, six of us in line, walk up front and they just hand the bill to the guy and they're like, change, change, change. And I'm like, what the fuck? And the, the Sri Lankan guy's like, what do, you, what do you want? I don't understand. And he's like, change, change, change. Like, I need small money. And I'm like, damn, dude, use please, you know, like wait in line, uh, talk with a little bit more respect. But man, this has been happening the entire time. It happened again at lunch yesterday. And I'm, I'm noticing that, you know, it's a common trend and it needs to be talked about because these are the things that um, you should always be 
considerate about when traveling. You don't leave your home to conduct yourself in the same way you conduct yourself at home, especially um, not to the locals. It's rude, it's wrong, it makes them feel very disrespectful, and you know, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be surrounded with that kind of energy. So that is why I'm leaving Ella tomorrow morning. I'd stay here a lot longer, to be honest, but it's not really my cup of tea. I mean, literally, we're surrounded by tea. That was a good phrase. But this place is gorgeous, beautiful. However, being surrounded by all of those um, people with that kind of attitude has really killed my vibe. It's, it's hindered the experience and I know so many people here in Sri Lanka right now that feel the same way and it's you know I've noticed it a lot more here maybe because well the main center of Ella is very very tiny and not too spread out and compared to like other places I've been this trip however um, of course the same situation was happening over in Hikadua and in um, uh, Unatavana um, it was I ran into so many people that were just very disrespectful and I'm not sure if Maybe it's not disrespectful, maybe that's just the way they carry themselves, but it's wrong, man. It's wrong to um, belittle, belittle anybody, okay? Nobody is better than anybody. Um, at the end of the day, we're all going to end up in the, same, in the same position. We all bleed the same, and it doesn't matter where you come from. Show people some goddamn respect, and don't leave your house if you don't know how to act. Seriously, do not. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. These people don't need your money that bad. They don't need your money that bad to come here and uh, treat them like garbage. Nobody needs that, actually. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk about that because that has been my the worst experience I've had here in Ellis so far. Granted, what just happened right now with the tuk-tuk, that was actually a pretty bad experience too. And to be honest, guys, I had no idea he scraped my damn tuk-tuk. I mean, no idea at all. I thought it was just the, the, the side window, so now I got to contact tuk-tuk rental and figure out what we're gonna do about that situation but I'm not too worried about it um, like I said they and the guys they weren't getting too violent neither but I knew what he was gonna want he was gonna want money and he was gonna ask me for a lot of money so that's why I was like no let's go to the tourist police because here in Ella and in all the places in Sri Lanka there's tourist police and they're gonna take care of you guys um, as I mentioned don't let even that scare you that is an experience that happens everywhere in the world you just got to know how to conduct yourself um, took took drivers taxis it don't matter where you are in the world even in New York City baby they are some of the most ruthless individuals you're gonna encounter on a vacation so um, yeah now I'm gonna fly my drone I'm gonna uh, give you guys a little segment of what this place looks like up in the sky sorry if this was a negative video man I think I mean I'm still gonna title it something extremely positive that lady can't get out of my mind what a lovely lady man lovely lady she didn't even want to charge me for the coconut because I had gave her 500 initially. Then I gave her a thousand for the coconut and her. She was, man, her facial expression was priceless. That's what I, that's what I travel for, guys. Um, I wasn't even going to show you guys.